Hello and welcome back to another video. And today we will show a new series that I call Ghostly Goosebumps, where I review Goosebumps stories, old ones and new ones, just for your enjoyment. <coughs> Sorry, I'm eating cookies. Um. Anyways, um. So this review, my other thing on the screen, you can quickly see that we will be doing the haunted school. Now, our main antagonist in this story is Tommy. Tommy Fraser, or whatever. Um, um, basically, his dad gets married to someone new. And there, they went to a new school. So basically, the normal new school thing. And, well, it's school haunted and stuff. And uh, basically, uh, what I keep saying basically, he, the, the story starts off with, um, this kid, and two other kids, named Ben and Talia, who, basically just, well, they, they, these three kids, uh, they signed up to be, uh, for the dance committee or something, where they decorate for the dance, uh, um, go. So, um, yeah, so, since they're doing that, they have, um, yeah, sorry, miss. um, well, eventually in the story, Ben leaves, um, well, actually, no, he didn't leave, um, they realize they need red paint, so Tommy offers to go upstairs to the art room. If you need anything, go to the art room, so, um, basically, when he's in the art room, well, he runs into this girl named Gru this girl who looks gray, has gray eyes, her skin looks pale, I think, um, oh well, yeah, um, and her name is Greta, um, she, uh, she's kind of like the girl bully, in school, but anyways, um, so, he makes it past her and goes to the art room, when he's in the art room, he's disturbed by voices, he thinks it's just Talia and Ben playing a trick on him, but they're nowhere to be found, so. He just grabs the drug paint, starts heading down, and runs into some sort of room. And in the room, there are these kids that look like weird 1940s or 50s and stuff. They have V-necks, um, uh, so let's go off, um, Oh. Yeah, V-Nex, and eventually, um, the principal of the school finds her, him, and lead, and Tommy explains that he's lost and stuff, so, they decide to go down, so they went downstairs, and, to the, to the gym, and we fast, and Ben already left the gym, so he like to go home, and, um, he tells Talia what happened, and she acts all weird, and she was like, you, you saw them? And then she just runs out of the gym, it's like, what? Um, so, yeah, um, basically, this whole thing, that's basically a clue for something that comes up, but, I forgot to tell you, this is a spoiler review, even though, but anyway, so, the, um, they skip to the next day, um, uh, Talia and, uh, Ben and Tommy are in class, and Greta steals, uh, Talia's lipstick, and what happens is, they get into a big fight, Talia goes, like, crazy, like the Joker, and Tommy steps in, the teacher comes back in, like, the kids just go crazy once the teacher leaves, that even happens in my class, but, um, oh, so, after that, I believe, is the name of the dance. Let's just fast forward to that. Um, as they're there, uh, they were, um, they were, Greta had drums, other people have guitar and stuff, but, because they were in the band. Um, not Tommy, Tyler, or Ben, but, um, they eventually break the banner that they made, um, and they need to go get tape to tape it up. And so Ben grabs Tommy's arm and they speed off to get tape to the from the art room. 
So basically everything you get from the army. So basically during that, um, they walk, they run upstairs. Tommy says he knows where he's going, and Ben keeps telling him to go the other way. Um, they keep fighting, and Tommy just leads him, and they're both lost now. Ben keeps banging on the board and wall, and he falls through. Um, then they find an elevator, uh, in th through there. It's like, into the, it leads into the old school. Um, basically the story is, they built a new school around the old school, so basically, yeah. And in the old school, they found an elevator. They opened up the elevator, went inside, the doors closed, and they couldn't... They pressed the button, nothing happened. They were trapped. They were yelling and yelling and yelling. They were trapped inside the elevator. So then, basically, they pressed the button, and it finally started moving, but it didn't move in the right way. It moved somewhere else, but... It moved sideways. Oh, <laughs> it's the Wonka Vader, isn't it? Uh, classic. Um, anyways, guys, so, um, um, yeah, so, they make, they make it to this weird room, and it's all black and gray. Hold on, guys, my dog's barking. Yeah, it's all black and gray, and this girl is talking, and they find these four other children. There are five children that are black and gray as well. Um, yeah, so basically, their names were Mona, Mary, Seth, and two other kids, but I forget their names. Um, um, basically, they told them that they can't escape in the world, and they and Seth tells them their story. The story is like this... Uh, picture taker on school day of the class of 1947 or something like that. Um, uh, whatever. Um, the class picture day came, and this man named Mr. Chameleon was taking their picture. But when they took the picture, they said they found themselves there with 20 with 20 other kids because there were 25 kids when the school first opened. So yeah. Uh, basically. Eventually, Tommy and Ben start going crazy because they start turning black and gray too. They close their uh, their hands and stuff, so they start to panic and they run out a window and they're lost. It was so foggy, foggy. They lost themselves outside. So uh, then the twenty other kids were there. They they started. Dancing around them in a line, hands together, and they were like, turn, turn, turn to gray, turn, turn, turn to gray. Um, they were confused. They said they were waiting for them to turn to gray. Eventually, they got out of control, and Tommy and Ben, and they say something about a black pit that they're gonna throw them in. And so they bring up the mountain. And at the black pit. Then somebody brings bucket. Of uh, a girl brings a bucket up with black steaming liquid, and basically they take cups and put them in and dump it on their heads and sp drink it and then spit it on other people. It is disgusting. So yeah, they they're confused. Tell me a better like huh? What? Um, they say they cover us, but they we cover ourselves in black. There's no color, because there's no color in the sky, and the, it's whatever, but, um, basically, basically cover themselves because there's no color anywhere, so, doesn't make much sense, whatever. Um, then, they push them into the black, they, the first person to be in the person in the black pit was Tommy, so, they get pushed in, now Tommy gets pushed, and Seth grabs him. Someone grabs him and it's Seth. So when Seth has him, he he takes them. He takes them. He takes Ben and T Tommy down and their kids are surrounding them once again. And Tommy has his father's and his grandfather's lighter in his pocket, so he Sorry, um so he lights the leaves on fire and it starts 
burning the kid's eyes. It hurts their eyes, so that gave them a chance to escape. So they start running and running and running. So they go back to the school. And um, this one thing I forgot to mention before Tommy and Ben ran out of the room. They said the the other five children told them that the other twenty had gone crazy. So yeah. So when they got back to the classroom, they were just they were hooking and hooking. Tommy and Ben had already, already almost turned to gray. The only thing that was left was their faces. So yeah, eventually. They start banging on the walls, using stuff, and Tommy came up with an idea. If the lighter still had color, maybe he could make something so to to escape. Um, um, he needed, but when he took the lighter out with the walls, it would turn to gray. So it was had no color either, and eventually they start panicking and panicking and panicking, and they try to bang on the elevator. And eventually they hear the elevator rumbling and rolling and rolling. And believe it or not, the thing that is great about it, it's um it's Talia. She she was there. Um they were surprised and they asked and they and they, and she met up with the other five children and they were hugging each other. Um So she was the one all this time. She, she was the one who escaped. Because someone because Seth told them that someone actually made it out. And you know it was a bad time to tell them, but whatever. Um, um then Tommy and Ben asked, How did you do it? How did you do it? And because they still have a lot of color left, so well um she replied, um he said the reason that I was so obsessed with the lipstick and stuff and putting makeup on all the time is to hide the black and gray from me. Um, and she said hey, she escaped since her lipstick was the only color had only had only red color. She wrote she drew like a box on the wall or something and it opened a portal to get out. Cause the elevator doors closed, so they need another way to get out. And she told them that's the way that how she got out, so that's how they would get out. So she took out her lipstick and started smudging it across the walls, and eventually it opened. Tommy and Tommy starts asking if the other, if the six children wanted to come, but they just said they realized they needed to stay here. This is this was their home. So Tommy and Ben left them behind. And they jumped through the portal into the normal dimension, and they were so. It, they appeared in the old hallway with the elevator, and Miss, uh, the principal was there, and she told them that we've been waiting for you forever. And they had their normal color again. And eventually, they, it was time for the class picture, and who else? Who other than was taking the picture? Mr. Chameleon. Um, so in other words, this story is like, say cheese and die. <laughs> so anyways, um, basically, what, what Mr. Chameleon does, he's the class picture that made the, the, the 25 kids vanish. Now, there's one of 26 kids because of Talia, but, um, so basically... Uh, one, um, the principal just brings them down to the gym because they got lost, they explained they got lost, they explained what happened, and she didn't really respond, so. They made their way to the gym, and yeah, Mr. Gavillian was taking the picture, like I said, and basically, what happened was, um, Tommy realized, it was Mr. Gavillian, Tommy and Ben realized, and, uh, realized that he was the one was taking the class picture for the dance and he remembered that Seth told them that it was the night of the dance when they when Mr. Cleveland took the picture and they disappeared. So Tommy and Ben started screaming and saying, No wait and flash. So yeah, they, they do there was just a flash 
And that's basically the end of the story. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much the end of the Haunted School, and it was a good book. It never made it to the TV show, but who cares? At least it was a good book. Hey guys, and thanks for watching my review on Goosebumps, The Haunted Mask, and uh, The Haunted School, and watching Go See Goosebumps. Anyways guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Like and subscribe to join the undead. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.